Hi everyone, so I thought today I'd do a video on my favourite beauty reads. Now I love, 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 love watching YouTube videos, but I, I love maybe even more reading things about beauty. So whether that's like in a book or in a magazine or people's blogs or on a website, I love, I love to write myself, so I love to read what other people are writing about my favourite topic, which is beauty. I think people are always surprised. I think they think beauty is something I just like dilly dally, like dabble in, but I, I don't. I'm addicted, like my TV is YouTube, watching my beauty videos, and I don't read a book, I read someone's blog or like a magazine. I just love to immerse myself in the world of beauty at all times. So <laughs> I thought I'd do kind of my top favourite website slash blogs which was really difficult and I'm sure I'll add like a few little bonus items in there because to narrow my reading list down would be very very difficult um, but I'm also going to show you some magazines which I think have particularly good beauty bits in them and also some books which I haven't got here with me but I thought I'd chat about them. So I think I'll get started with blogs and just as like an extra one which you know I'm going to throw in there, Lily Pebbles blog What I Hard Today is one that I check every day, she updates daily, there's something new and you know when you find someone that just has similar taste to what you like, I know that if Lily likes something chances are I'll probably like it too so I always like to have a look at what she's getting up to plus I'm a bit of a stalker of hers so there's that one but probably my favourite, 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 favourite blog of all that I've been reading for like almost since it launched I think, like a, over, well over a year, I think it's probably been around two years but I've been reading it for a very very long time is Into the Gloss which is written by a girl called Emily Wise and she actually, if you watch The Hills, she was super intern. I did not know this for a very long time, I read her blog for a long time before I realised She's super intern from the hills, she's worked for some incredible magazines, she has amazing contacts and she does lots of different things on her website, there's actually like quite a few of them that write in now and she does lots of different things but it mainly doesn't really focus on what she's doing, it mainly focuses on she like gets really cool people in the industry and like looks in their bathroom cabinets and she's done like some of my favourite people, she's done like the Essie, like Essie who makes the nail polish uh, that's a really good one and the one that she did with Ealing Kling is incredible as well like there's just so many good articles on there and I always like it's kind of really good if you're quite nosy and you're into beauty as well it's like the perfect website so definitely check that one out then one there's I think the rest are all kind of UK based and I really love Ruth from a model recommends kind of like Lily she we I think we have quite similar tastes so if she likes something chances are I will too. She's also ridiculously stunning. She looks amazing. I always want to know what makeup she's using and she adds like a few extra bits in there as well. So it's not just beauty. There's a bit of fashion, there's a bit of lifestyle and pictures of her cat and her cat is just the cutest thing since life spread so I always like to see what's going on there. Skincare wise, Caroline Hirons, like do I even need to say any more? She is just the boss when it comes to skincare. She knows exactly what she's talking about. So I'm actually subscribed to her blog through email. So if I wake up and there's like a beauty mouth email, I'm like, yes, I love reading that like first thing in the morning when I'm in bed and I'm like scrolling through, I read that one because I love her blog. One website that is amazing for reviews and like no one does it as good as Christine does is Tentalia. It is just the most, she reviews everything. I have no idea how she has enough time in the day to do this because she swatches everything, she tries everything on, she gives it like a little rating, she's like the review blog, she's like the queen of review blogs and if you want like to see close up swatches of something she's got a really good foundation matrix as well so you can work out if you're something in one shade you can work out what your shade is in another foundation which is just the most incredible it's just, it's a very, very well thought out grid. It is so good, you definitely need to check hers out. If you need something quite particular, she's so good at that. The final blog that I love is called 15 Steps on a Beauty Blog and it's done by a girl called Sandra. She's TT Sandra here on YouTube and she is just so nice. She's also ridiculously pretty and whatever makeup she's wearing, like I just instantly want. She has that like neutral makeup thing down to a T, so it's completely, my taste, she does the most lovely, like beautiful, like neutral browny taupey eyes. She loves taupe, she loves nude lipsticks, like I love her. She's so nice as well and she writes in quite an entertaining way so I love having a read of her. I'll quickly touch on books because I haven't actually got any here with me now because when I moved out I think they were up in the loft and they're still in the loft at home home so I need to pick them up next time I go and I got it for Christmas last year and it's the Bobby Brown, the makeup manual, I think it's called. I'll put the put a link to it below, but it's a really good book for kind of like 
beginners it's very like easy to understand she explains techniques like so well and she like starts from the beginning and everything is just like this 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 it's so it's such a good book to like get your teeth into when you're like first getting into beauty I really want the Lauren Conrad beauty book as well I know it's probably not going to be the most technical of all books out there but I love her makeup so I'm definitely gonna have to get that I should have put that on my Christmas list that would be a very good thing to have on my Christmas list but all the Bobbi Brown books, like, she's been doing books for years, there's some, like, ancient ones out there, long, not ancient, but, you know, like, 15-year-old, 20-year-old books out there, but the one that I've got is the Makeup Manual, and I highly recommend. Then there's three magazines that I think have particularly good beauty pages, and the first one is Stylist Magazine, and this is given out on a Wednesday morning, sometimes you can get one on Tuesday evening, which is quite exciting, uh, in London, but they also give them out, like, all over the country, in train stations and stuff. I usually get this like outside the tube and I'm like nab the man it's like the one day of the week that I actually want what he's got in his hand um, but you can view it online and I just think Joanna McGarry who's the beauty editor is just like spot on they have like a good like three four five pages of beauty now in it and I just really love that like there's nothing worse than getting a magazine and then flicking through in the beauty page is like one page like oh damn it but this has like a significant chunk of beauty and they do like a beauty editorial and then there's usually like the team pick their favorites and then Joanna writes the piece and it's fantastic every week and it's free which is like the most amazing thing ever then I do like Elle magazines and um, beauty sections as well Emma Strenna she knows her stuff and there's always it's so beautiful on a page it's so beautiful on a page and there's always just a nice mix of everything, a nice mix of like trends, a, like there's always a like proper written piece in it, like an essay, it's just nice, it's like a decent size, a decent hunk of beauty writing in this magazine, I mean it's a hunk of a magazine but I love, I love Elle magazine anyway, it's my favourite. And then the one you've probably heard me all talk about before is Allure magazine, I have my subscription through a company called newstand.co.uk, it's good, however it's £36 pounds for six issues I think so it works out pretty pricey and also the issues take ages to arrive but you can they do an iPad edition so you can just subscribe to it on iPad or you can get it directly from Allure and I've heard that it's cheap that way so my sources have told me otherwise so I think when this runs out I probably will try one of those methods but it is a full-on makeup magazine you, it's quite impossible to get here in the UK if you go to like a specialist news agency they might have it isn't there enough impossible to get but it's an American magazine and it is just full to the brim of beauty there's like a tiny bit of fashion in there and then the rest of it is beauty it's like the opposite to all other magazines and I love it and also you get to kind of see things that are coming out in America and you think mm, I wonder when they'll be coming out over here I remember seeing the Maybelline colour tattoo eyeshadows in here like months before they came over to the UK because they kind of get to try everything first so it's a good one for kind of seeing what's coming up so those are my top beauty reads if you have any I'd love to hear actually I'd love to have some new things to my reading list so do pop a comment below if there's something that I've missed out but hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye